So now let's talk about our number one national security threat, China. China has been preparing war with us for years, and that's not me exaggerating. They're already here. They've already infiltrated our country. They've bought 400,000 acres of U.S. soil, most recently near Grand Forks Air Force Base, where our most sensitive drone technology is. They have put millions of dollars into our universities, stealing our research, spreading Chinese propaganda. Everybody got freaked out by this Chinese spy balloon, rightfully. What about the fact that 90% of our law enforcement drones are Chinese? Think about all the many surveillance that's happening as we speak. There's a set of technologies we never want China to get because they build up their military and they threaten America. Yet the Biden administration gave them 70% of them last year. And we have had more Americans die of fentanyl than the Iraq, Afghanistan, and Vietnam Wars combined. We lost 75,000 Americans last year alone. And they are building up their military at a scary pace. They now have 500 nuclear warheads. That's 100 more than they had last year. They have the largest naval fleet in the world. They have 370 ships. They'll have 400 ships in two years. We won't even have 350 ships in two decades. They're doing artificial intelligence. They're doing cyber. They're doing space. They've developed hypersonic missiles. We've barely gotten started. And now China's the lead developer of neurostrike weapons, weapons engineered to change the brain activity of military commanders in segments of the population. That's who we're dealing with. So when Biden and Yellen want to tell you this is a competitor, every day that I dealt with China at the United Nations, they never saw us as a competitor. They saw us as an enemy. We've got to start looking at China the way they look at us. So how do we deal with China? You first start by making sure that we stop selling them any U.S. soil and we take back the land that they have already purchased. We go to our universities and we say, you either take foreign money or you take American money, but the days of taking both are over and we get that intrusion out of our schools. We blacklist all the technology that goes to China that builds up their military, and we tell them we are going to end all normal trade relations with them until they stop murdering Americans with fentanyl. You watch how fast they move. And there were two things when I was at the United Nations that Russia, China, and Iran never wanted us to have. They never wanted us to have a strong military, and they never wanted us to be energy independent. We're not going to be energy independent. We're going to be energy dominant. 